Ciao, good day, Ramirez. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Love of Kill episode 4. So, last episode we discovered why Ho has been following and threatening, I guess, Liang Ha. And that's because he wants to seek revenge for his dead friend that Liang Ha killed. And we discovered that they were all part of the same gang. And yeah. But we didn't discover why Liang Ha did that, so maybe they're gonna talk about it now. And also, we discovered that Chateau doesn't really have a good relationship with his parent, with her parents, or at least with her mom. Not really that they don't have a good relationship, but more like it looks strained. Or Chateau doesn't really look like a loving daughter, as of now. But yeah, let's start this video in 3, 2, 1, Pyong! Alright, okay. I always forget that they do a recap. What is this place? Oh, graveyard. Okay, so she's visiting her father. Are those white lilies? I'm not really sure with flowers names. Frankfurt. So her name is Chateau Dankfer. Did they say it earlier? I, I don't remember. Did she have a better relationship with her, with her father compared to her mother? Real face. Who's real face? Hmm? Uh, Chateau's family house? He's the, the agency... How do you call it? CEO? Leader? Brilliant. That must be Chateau's mom? Uh, that's obviously Chateau's... Shadow's boss, and they've known each other for a long time? Oh, oh they're like childhood friends? Oh, he looks much older, not gonna lie. Explain, we're getting a Shadow flashback today? Huh? Why she looks so disgusted? Is Ryang Ha there? Ah, oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing there? <laughs> She's completely ignoring him. Why? What did he say? Okay. <laughs> oh? Who are they? Were they holding a uh, pom pom? <laughs> she really doesn't care. Oh! Are they gonna attack the nun? I have a bad feeling. Yep! He noticed as well, and go Ryang Ha, go Ryang Ha. No, no, okay, gonna stick quiet. Oop, there you go. What? Phew. Who are they? Bye bye, Nan. Who are they working for? Are they? But they were there to target Chateau and not Liang Ha, right? As if. They never reply, they never answer to these questions. Oh! Why would you kill him? Get more answers! They got her? Oh, okay, no. Where are you running? Oh. The guy, okay, that's Ho. Why is he so obsessed with Chateau when his target is 
Young Ha. Does he want to use Shato? To lure Young Ha? Jeez. Shato's outfit kind of reminds me of Nobara's uniform, school uniform. And Ryangha is nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh never mind. She can do it. Woohoo! Go, girl! She can defend herself. Or maybe not. What? You tried. So now. So now we're getting the flashback while she's getting abducted. Abducted again? Looking for something? Like what? Huh? So was she adopted? Dude is having fun there. He's literally having fun. Fun at he at Ryang has despair, but oh well. So we're we gonna have a staring contest. Okay. From the beginning. Seventeen years ago. Was that her her real father? Italian? Boy? If she's Italian, why her name is Chateau? Chateau is French. Lobo? Okay. Oh, was she abducted? Hmm? <laughs> she's hungry, poor little girl. She's obviously hungry. So, Shoto got abducted, I guess, from now, from what I understood. And the police officer decided to adopt her. <laughs> when he comes back from work and has a little kid with him. Person of interest! She's a tiny kid, but oh well, never know. Oh, she's so cute. But she's so quiet for for a little girl. Okay, okay. So we're thinking on the same wavelength. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Something seems fishy there. She's so cute. Really? Oh, I know I keep saying it, but she's so cute. That's gonna scare her. Of course, she's not gonna answer. You're gonna show her the dead body? Isn't that too traumatic for a girl? For a little girl? Does she have like amnesia or something or like trauma? And uh, forgot everything that happened? Okay, we know that she ends up with him, so what happens? Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> and he retired, okay. And how did little Shoto go to him? <laughs> that would be really surreal. Oh, still thinking about little Shoto? Was that like his last mission? Aww. She recognized him. Oh, cutie. A 
I'm not surprised you went with him then. The eyes are kinda sus there, but okay. I'm really not surprised she thinks of him as her hero, I guess. I also understand why she was closer to the father instead of her mother. But yeah. Huh. What is this place? Is the okay. Okay. One big question? Song But that was not him because he died. So what? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Who's getting beaten up? Byungha? Good morning, darling. Oh no. Are those bombs? Is Shoto dead? No, it's impossible that she's dead. Come on, it's only the fourth episode, right? Right? You can barely stand up. What are you talking about? What do you mean, round two? Don't tell me it's done. No? Oh! Okay, so we obviously saw the bomb. Bombing? No, how do you, how do you say it? exploding yeah okay we saw that bomb exploding but she's the protagonist and this has nothing to do with reincarnation isekai or anything so i don't think she's dead it's only the fourth episode it's not it's she's not dead that's that's what's on my mind she's not dead i want to believe that she's not dead but we got a glimpse of her past and how she became a dunk word so i was correct that those two people the dunk word um, mr and mrs dunk word, weren't her real parents they really looked too old for to be her real parents and yeah we saw how she got adopt no how she was found and how she got adopted and honestly i wasn't really surprised that she went with dunk word, mr dunk word, because with abel because, I mean, he was the first person that she felt comfortable with after what she had to go through. And yeah, I wasn't really surprised she went with him and every, all the other um, adults were scaring her. Although I didn't, I didn't think that her seeing the one that abducted her was really a smart move but okay okay if that's how, what you want to do then go on the only thing is the the dude the the guy that died was called song Ryangha, but that was not a real document i guess so I, I i really wonder i'm wondering really i'm curious to know how Song Ryangha, the Song Ryangha that we know, is connected to the whole chateau abduction thing, if she was abducted or something. And yeah, I'm actually pretty curious. And I hope we get some answers soon. But I'm liking this slow pace. It's giving you, a, it's giving me a little something to look forward to so yeah comment down below what you think like if you can share if you can and subscribe help me reach 700 thank you so much for watching and i will see you the next time bye